China has been quietly working on a revolutionary new energy source that could change the game for the country's energy needs, and it's not what you think. In this video, we're diving into the shocking details of China's secret hydrogen bomb breakthrough, and what it means for the future of energy production. From the science behind this groundbreaking technology to the potential implications for global politics and economies, we're exploring it all. So, what exactly is China's hydrogen bomb, and how does it work? Is it safe? And what are the benefits and drawbacks of this new energy source? Join us as we uncover the truth behind China's secret hydrogen bomb breakthrough and what it could mean for our future. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you subscribe to our channel, share, and like our video so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. In April 2025, China announced a significant technological advancement with the successful test of a non-nuclear hydrogen bomb, developed by the China State Shipbuilding Corporation 705 Research Institute. Unlike traditional nuclear weapons, this 2kg device utilizes magnesium hydride, a solid-state hydrogen storage material, to produce a sustained fireball exceeding 1000 degrees Celsius for over 2 seconds, 15 times longer than a comparable TNT explosion. With a peak overpressure of 428.43 kilopascals at 2 meters, it can melt aluminum alloys and cause extensive thermal damage, functioning similarly to napalm or thermobaric weapons but with precise control over blast intensity. This breakthrough, reported by sources like the South China Morning Post and Business Standard, marks a shift toward clean energy military technologies, aligning with China's 7.2% defense budget increase to $249 billion in 2025 for modernizing the PLA. Implications for International Relations 1. Escalation without treaty violations. The non-nuclear nature of this weapon allows China to develop and test it without breaching the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty NPT, or Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty CTBT. This sidesteps diplomatic fallout while signaling to adversaries, particularly the United States, that China possesses advanced escalation options, especially in regional flashpoints like Taiwan or the South China Sea. Posts on X highlight this as a strategic move to maintain flexibility under international law. 2. Tensions with the US and allies. The test coincides with heightened US-China friction, particularly over Taiwan, where China conducted large-scale military exercises in April 2025. The U.S. has reaffirmed its commitment to Taiwan, labeling China's actions as intimidation. This new weapon could intensify perceptions of a Chinese threat, prompting stronger U.S. military support for allies like Japan and South Korea, and potentially accelerating arms races in the Indo-Pacific. 3. Global Power Perception the development enhances China's image as a technological and military innovator, reinforcing its claim to great power status. As noted in historical contexts, China's earlier nuclear advancements increased its diplomatic credibility. This non-nuclear breakthrough could similarly bolster Beijing's influence in international forums, particularly among nations wary of nuclear escalation. Implications for Military Power 1 new class of thermal weapons. The hydrogen bomb's ability to generate prolonged, high-temperature fireballs introduces a versatile weapon for precision strikes on infrastructure, area denial, or electronic disruption. Its thermal effects, capable of melting armor or frying electronics, could neutralize advanced systems like drones or missile defenses, shifting tactical advantages in conflicts. 2. Regional Deterrence. With capabilities to target regional adversaries' assets, such as U.S. bases in the second island chain, this weapon strengthens China's deterrence posture. Unlike nuclear weapons, its use carries less risk of catastrophic retaliation, making it a credible tool for coercion in disputes over Taiwan or the South China Sea. 3. Strategic Ambiguity While China maintains a no-first-use policy for nuclear weapons, this non-nuclear device operates in a gray zone, offering destructive potential without crossing the nuclear threshold. This ambiguity could complicate adversaries' response strategies, as the weapon's deployment might not trigger the same level of escalation as nuclear use. China's pursuit of clean energy military technologies, including hydrogen-based weapons, reflects a broader strategy to integrate renewable energy into its defense framework, as seen in its naval advancements like the Type 055 cruisers. However, 
This development occurs amid concerns about corruption in China's military, with reports of issues like water-filled missiles raising questions about operational reliability. Despite these challenges, the hydrogen bomb test underscores China's ambition to redefine military power through innovation, potentially reshaping strategic calculations in an increasingly multipolar world. China's 2025 non-nuclear hydrogen bomb breakthrough represents a significant leap in military technology, leveraging clean energy principles to create a weapon with unique destructive capabilities. Developed by the China State Shipbuilding Corporation's 705 Research Institute, this device diverges from traditional nuclear or thermonuclear weapons, offering new strategic options. Here, we explore the technical details, historical context, and comparisons with other countries' capabilities, grounding the analysis in available data and critical evaluation of global trends. The non-nuclear hydrogen bomb, tested in April 2025, is a 2-kilogram explosive device that uses magnesium hydride as a solid-state hydrogen storage material. Unlike nuclear or thermonuclear weapons that rely on fission or fusion reactions, this bomb operates through a chemical combustion process, producing a sustained, high-temperature fireball without radioactive fallout. Key technical aspects include Initial blast The device is triggered by a conventional explosive charge that fractures the magnesium hydride into fine particles, exposing fresh surfaces. Hydrogen release as these particles heat, they release hydrogen gas, which mixes with ambient oxygen. When the hydrogen concentration reaches a critical threshold, it ignites, creating a secondary fireball. Self-sustaining combustion. The heat from the fireball further decomposes magnesium hydride, releasing more hydrogen in a feedback loop. This sustains a white-hot fireball exceeding 1000 degrees Celsius, 1800 degrees Fahrenheit, for over two seconds, 15 times longer than a comparable TNT explosion. Blast Characteristics The bomb generates a peak overpressure of 428.43 kPa at 2 meters, comparable to high-explosive or thermobaric weapons. It can melt aluminum alloys, burn through armor, or destroy electronics, with effects akin to napalm but with greater precision. Control over Blast Intensity the device allows precise modulation of explosive yield, enabling tailored effects for specific targets. For example, it can incinerate a bridge or fuel depot with surgical accuracy or deny access to key routes by creating prolonged thermal barriers. Clean energy design. By avoiding enriched uranium, tritium, or neutron release, the bomb produces no radioactive fallout, aligning with China's push for cleaner military technologies. This design sidesteps restrictions under the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty and Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty. Applications The prolonged fireball makes it ideal for area denial, targeting dispersed forces, or destroying critical infrastructure like power stations or communication hubs. Its thermal effects can disrupt advanced systems, such as drones or missile defenses, without the escalation risks of nuclear weapons. The breakthrough reflects advancements in materials science, particularly in solid-state hydrogen storage, and builds on China's expertise in underwater and precision weaponry developed by the 705 Research Institute. China's non-nuclear hydrogen bomb is unique, but its capabilities can be compared to nuclear, thermobaric, and advanced conventional weapons developed by other nations. The U.S. possesses approximately 3,700 warheads, with a fully developed nuclear triad, ICBMs, SLBMs, and bombers. Its thermonuclear weapons, first tested in 1952, 10.4 megatons, dwarf China's historical yields but carry escalation risks. The U.S. has thermobaric weapons like the GBU-43, B-MOAB, 11-ton TNT equivalent, which produce intense blast and heat but lack the sustained fireball of China's device. The U.S. also invests in hypersonic missiles and directed energy weapons, but no direct equivalent to the magnesium hydride bomb exists. U.S. missile defense systems, such as Aegis, THAAD, and conventional prompt strike capabilities have driven China's pursuit of asymmetric weapons like the hydrogen bomb to maintain deterrence. Russia's approximately 4,380 warheads include strategic and non-strategic weapons, with thermonuclear tests dating to 1953, 400 kilotons. 
Its FOAB thermobaric bomb rivals the Moab but relies on fuel air explosives, not hydrogen storage. Russia's focus on hypersonic weapons, such as Kinzhal and nuclear capable drones, the Poseidon, emphasizes escalation dominance. While Russia has explored clean energy military applications, no evidence suggests a hydrogen based explosive like China's. Sino Russian cooperation has grown, but Russia's reliance on nuclear posturing contrasts with China's non nuclear approach, reflecting different strategic priorities. UK and France both have smaller arsenals, approximately 225 and approximately 290 warheads respectively, and mature thermonuclear capabilities. UK. 1957, France. 1968. Their focus remains on nuclear deterrence, with no reported non-nuclear hydrogen-based weapons. India. With approximately 160 warheads and a 1998 thermonuclear test, disputed yield. India lags in clean energy military tech. Its thermobaric weapons are less advanced, and its nuclear program focuses on countering China and Pakistan. China's non-nuclear hydrogen bomb gives it a tactical edge in regional conflicts, as it avoids the political and environmental costs of nuclear or large-scale conventional weapons used by these powers. Suspected to have approximately 90 warheads, Israel relies on conventional precision strikes and cyber capabilities. Its focus on survivability in a hostile region precludes investment in experimental weapons like China's. Lacking nuclear weapons but advancing uranium enrichment, 60% HEU as of 2023, Iran focuses on ballistic missiles and proxies. It has no known hydrogen-based explosive programs. China's breakthrough highlights a technological gap, as non-nuclear states prioritize traditional or asymmetric capabilities over clean energy weapons. Thermobaric and fuel air explosives, US, Russia, and India, produce similar blast and heat effects but lack the precision and sustainability of China's hydrogen bomb. Directed energy weapons, US and Israel, and electromagnetic pulse devices, Russia and North Korea, target electronics but don't match the physical destruction of China's device. No other nation has publicly demonstrated a magnesium hydride-based explosive, positioning China as a leader in this niche. China's non-nuclear hydrogen bomb fills a strategic gap between conventional and nuclear weapons, offering a clean alternative for tactical scenarios without the fallout or escalation risks of thermonuclear devices. Its development reflects China's ability to exploit legal and technological gray zones, as seen in its historical nuclear program and recent hypersonic advancements. However, challenges remain. Reliability concerns. Reports of corruption in China's military, such as water-filled missiles, raise questions about the PLA's ability to operationalize this technology consistently. Global response. The US and allies may accelerate investments in missile defenses or counter technologies, potentially escalating regional arms races. Proliferation risks. While the bomb avoids nuclear proliferation concerns, its underlying hydrogen storage technology could inspire similar developments in other states, complicating arms control. Compared to other nations, China's device is a novel addition to the global arsenal, blending the destructive power of thermobaric weapons with the precision of modern materials science. It underscores China's ambition to redefine military power in a multipolar world, challenging the U.S.-led order while navigating international constraints. China's non-nuclear hydrogen bomb breakthrough is a transformative development, redefining military power in a multipolar world. Its clean energy design and strategic ambiguity allow China to project strength without nuclear escalation, sidestepping international treaties while intensifying regional deterrence, particularly against the U.S. and its allies. The weapon's versatility, capable of precise, devastating thermal effects, shifts tactical dynamics in potential conflicts, especially in the Indo-Pacific. However, it exacerbates global stability risks by fueling arms races, challenging non-proliferation norms, and raising the specter of technological diffusion. As a symbol of China's technological and military ambition, this advancement underscores the urgent need for diplomatic engagement and updated arms control to manage the evolving threats of a new strategic era. If you found this video insightful, be sure to check out other videos on this channel and leave your thoughts in the comments below.
Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.